Hey YouTube, it's Melanie. This is the look that I'm doing today. So it's just a nice natural glowy look. Pretty much all drugstore products. Just keep watching if you want to know how to do this look. Alright. So first we're going to start with the primer base. It's too loud. So I don't have a primer so I just use this. Coconut Rose. It's a coconut rose hydrating face mist. And you just it says it can be used for a setting spray or before moisturization. So I just use it before moisturizing. And I use sweet almond oil to moisturize, just like a little bit though. Now we're nice and primed and moisturized, you know. And now we're gonna do our foundation. I lost my beauty blender, so I'm just gonna be using my fingers for right now because I tried to use a stippling brush the other day that I have from Morphe and it was like shedding all over my face, so I'd rather use my fingers. I use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 foundation. I don't know if that's going to focus or not. And this shade I'm in is 03 Light Beige. It's actually a little bit too dark. So I mix it with some of my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Cover in Classic Ivory. Because this one's too light. So I just put a, two pumps on my hand and like a little squeeze of this. Not too much, you know. I don't want to be too white. And... I just mix this I put it on my face. Just dot it on. This is actually really good coverage because like I have pimples and shit right now and it's covering completely. And that almond oil is gonna help to like really set that shit in your skin because you're nice and moisturized, and so your skin's gonna just soak it all in. Hopefully, it'll not matter that I'm not using a beauty blender right now, and it'll still look good. The Milani foundation is a little bit greasy. Like if you have oily skin, I wouldn't probably wear it because it's like oil base but these I have are the Morphe's Badger set it was like 36 bucks or something okay this is my favorite brush to use for like setting my powder I don't know where it's from but it's my favorite ever and I'm thinking that I need a little bit more coverage under my eyes so I'm gonna use the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer this is a good drugstore sealer for when you want really good coverage which I do want this concealer is awesome but it kind of is oily too so and like this concealer it goes a long way too and it covers a lot it honestly covers like my tattoo. I'm just going to set my face real quick with the um, Rimmel London Stay Matte before my crease everywhere. So, to contour and highlight, I use the Kat Von D's Shade and Light Palette and I'm going to take the shade Lyric the middle shade and I use that to set my under eye. And we're looking good. 
that's why. So this is when we use my Morphe brushes. So the Badger set, I'm taking this contour brush and I take the middle shade of the contour, which is called Shadow Play. And holy shit. This is actually really blendable and nice. For my nose contour, I use this little flat eyebrow brush by Morphe. It's not very clean right now. And then I take that middle shade and just do it on the bottom of my nose. Drag it out a little bit. Alright, so to clean up a little bit, we're just going to go back with the same brush that we were using before and the same light color. We were some kind of powder and I took some of it because it looked really pretty and it's just like this loose pigment it's like a beige color it's really loose so I'm gonna use some setting spray and it's the pearlescence coconut rose hydrating face mist that I got TJ Maxx I love TJ Maxx and we're gonna spray our face and our brush before applying this because it's that blending brush by Morphe. I like using it for like a more concentrated highlight. Tap a little bit of product. Do you see that fallout? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so back in there. So I'm going to spray my face, my brush, Good job. Sweet spray kicks. my brush first. Great hair. We can't guarantee you'll get everything you want in 2018, but we can give you a quick premium. We'll quickly pick dip pick that in. And play on repeat. Any song, any album, any playlist. Tap all the, all the access the out and then. And right now, premium is just 99 cents for three months. I don't know if you're seeing this, but this is beautiful. I really enjoy a loose highlight because even though it can be kind of hard to work with sometimes, it always shines the brightest in the world. If you can see the difference between that right now, this is with mist and this is with the highlight. It's pretty good. So, we're gonna have to go through that process again for the other side of my face. It's hard to do. It's like. to get it like concentrated in one spot without it getting all over your face. My mom just messaged me. Talk about jobs. Like mom, I'm a makeup artist. The rest of my application, I'm just gonna pile it on my face. And I'm just gonna do that 
on the brush. Please, for the last time, ho. And then I'm gonna just for like you know and giggles, I'm gonna make it pop even more with this e.l.f. Moonlit Pearls highlighter. And I use this with my ending brush just on apples, like my cheeks, or like high point. What is up with my internet from my neighbor's house by accident? Sorry. I'm just gonna set my face one more time. It smells so good. Looking at the rose. Now we're gonna move on to our eyes. Because we're done with our face. It's nice and glowy. Oh, so. Yeah, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and my eyeshadow, so I'm gonna zoom in for that. Alright, hmm. For eyebrows, I use the e.l.f. Lock On Liner Eyebrow and Eyeliner. And I use it in light brown. The spoolie, and then I use the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in blonde. I'm going to start off by combing my eyebrows. I'm going to just dip in now. Take a little bit on the brush. And I just like to make it. I start with my arch. Because this eyebrow has less of a tail than my right eyebrow for some reason. And then um, I just take the rest of the product that's in the brush and I just kind of like drag it to the front. So that's what I do to fill it in. And then take the brow mascara. And this stuff is really good to use. I use it all the time with it. I don't really fill in my eyebrows. I just kind of take the mascara and use it because it fills in your eyebrows a lot. clean up my eyebrows or anything because I don't really care if they look a little messy like I kind of like the more natural messy look of it anyway when they look kind of like yeah so I'm just gonna go into my eyebrow and do it on the other side and then move on to my eyeshadow so that's my eyebrow okay so my eyebrows are done did and we're gonna move on to eyeshadow, and I think I'm gonna go for a pretty simple look. But first, I'm gonna start with going in with a big fluffy blending brush, and I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D's Shade and Light Eye Palette in Plum. And I broke this one, but I'm gonna be using this shade for the base. So yeah, I'm just going to do that on the other eye. So now the base is done, we're going to be taking the Morphe 35-0 palette. And there's a lot of colors to choose from in here, but we're going to do this color right here. It's kind of a dark... Dream. Great hair. Green can't toned you can brown. To. I take that. Give you an amazing slam repeat. Any song, edge. any albums, go get it.
Okay. And then we're going to switch our brushes to a blending brush, but it's more small and compacted. And we're going to take, take this color right here, and I'm going to pat that on just the outer corner. And now with the same brush, I'm just going to be taking this coppery color. I'm just going to put that right on the lid. My pinky. <gasps> My beauty pill just died. It's fine. And for highlight, I'm going to use this gold shade. Where? This one. The eyeshadows because they're really easy. Blend. And they're pretty pigmented. I mean, they're pretty cheap too. Their palettes are like huge. And they're like 28 bucks. Now we're just going to finish with some eyeliner and mascara. Eyeliner, I'm going to use the same thing that I used for my eyebrow. Just going to do a little wing. The eyeliner brush. Okay, so. My camera just cut out me doing my eyeliner. I don't know why it's doing that right now, but I'm just gonna finish real quick. I'm gonna take the Clean Lasting Drama Pencil Eyeliner in white, and I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line. But a wet eyeliner or a tan eyeliner is really good to open up your eyes a lot and make your eyes pop. So I'm going to go ahead and start by curling my eyelashes. Ouch. Yeah, I need to go closer to my mirror for a second. Okay, so I usually use the Maybelline mascara and the pink one, but... I don't have it right now, so I've been using this Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Lash Extending Treatment Mascara that I got for 20 bucks, and it kind of sucks. I don't know why, it just kind of like is drying out really fast. I had it for like not that long, and my Maybelline Mascara, oh my god, this song. So I've been using this L'Oreal Voluminous Primer Mascara before this one to make my eyelashes pop more. And it honestly works really well. I haven't tried it with any other mascara except for this one. And let me tell you, this mascara honestly sucks. And it makes it perfect, so. Crazy, but I'm just going to let it dry. You can't see how much this sucks, but I assure you that it really does suck. But with the primer, it makes it look pretty good. Alright. So, now we're freaking done, except for I gotta put some lipstick on. Pretty nice. I'm gonna do a nude. Who doesn't love a good nude? I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. And this one's in Rebel Rose, which is like a nice light pink. And that's what I'm gonna go for today. I'm gonna put a lip gloss on or something. I don't know. These are kind of drying. Okay, so this is the finished look. I don't know if it's really focusing or not, but hopefully it is. It's nice and natural glowy. But yeah, I'll be posting some more YouTube videos soon. Hopefully I will get the hang of how to like make videos and how to focus my camera in a better lighting situation, a better video, I don't know, this is my first, so...
I'm gonna post this maybe, maybe not. But yeah. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll be posting more soon.